hello everyone welcome to the explanation so in this video i am going to discuss about increment and decrement operator in detail okay so this question this topic was asked by a student uh, so i will be explaining what is increment decrement operator uh, theoretical aspect and also i will be solving some examples on how to solve the questions okay so increment and decrement operator they are unary operator okay they comes under unary operator category because they take only one operand for example plus plus a okay minus minus a a plus plus a minus minus okay so you can see that there is only one operand and this plus plus and minus minus they are called the unary operator fine so here we can see that the plus sign and the minus sign they are in front of the variable and in other in second case they are after the variable so what is this what is the difference between these two let's discuss about that so again this increment and decrement they can be categorized into pre increment or decrement pre increment or decrement and post increment or decrement okay so pre means that is before any variable okay so plus plus a or minus minus a and post means the sign is after the variable so a plus plus a minus minus okay so how we perform the operation on pre increment okay so first of all we consider any expression okay for example if it is x equals to a plus 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 a suppose this is the expression and the value of a is 2 so in pre increment what happens is first of all we increase the value of a and then we assign it in expression okay so we can say that first we increase the value and then we assign in expression okay and what happens in post increment post increment or decrement first of all first of all we okay solve the expression okay solve the expression with the original value original value only will not increase this in case of post increment or decrement we don't change this value first of all we solve the expression using the original value solve the expression using original value and then we increase or decrease the variable okay it's very simple concept okay so in pre we increase the value and then we assign in post we assign the value and then we increase okay we can see here first we increase or decrease and then we assign in expression in this first we assign and then we are going to increase or decrease fine so this is very simple logic now let's so solve some questions in order to make it more clear okay so first let me take first case so let us consider value of a is 2 okay so let me consider expression x equals to a plus 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 a okay very simple so here first in first step we have to check that how many increment or decrement pre increment or pre decrement operator are there so you can see there here there is only one pre increment operator okay we have pre increment operator so according to the rule what was the rule we are going to increase the value and then we are going to assign yeah so according to pre increment we are going to increase the value of a by 1 so the value of a becomes 3 and now we are going to assign this in this expression so 3 plus 3 it is equal to 6 suppose the case was a plus okay so after okay after the expression is solved then we will see how many post increment are there so there is one post increment so after that I will increase the value of a and the now the updated value of a becomes 4 fine so we'll check how many increment and how many pre and how many post increment or decrement are there for example if the if the question was 
uh, let us consider a equals to 2 and if the expression was x equals to a plus 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 a plus plus okay so in this case you can check how many pre increment are there or decrement are there so there are no pre increment or decrement so we will not change we will not increase the value of 2 we will assign the original value only so the value become 4 and now we will check how many post increments are there so you can see here there are two post increments hence we increase the value of 4 by 2 sorry so this is i think this is the value of x yeah the value of a is 2 only hence we increase the value of a so it becomes 2 plus 2 which is equals to 4 so the value of a is 4 now okay let's let's go to some more questions fine so let us let us consider an expression x equals to let me consider a combination question of increment and decrement so let us consider suppose value of a is equals to 2 so plus plus a okay plus a minus minus plus a plus plus okay plus 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 a plus minus minus a fine this is the question this is the expression we have to solve now let us check how many pre increment and decrement are there so the value of a is 2 let us consider how many pre increment are there okay so there are 1 and 2 2 pre increment hence we add 2 here so it becomes 4 now let us check how many pre decrement are there so you can say there is only one pre decrement that is by 1 so minus 1 it becomes 3 okay now there are no pre increment or pre decrement hence the value of a is 3 okay now we will assign this 3 here in the expression 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 1 2 3 4 plus 3 if there was a minus sign we would have right here minus sign okay in expression hence the value becomes 1 2 3 4 5 15 so the value of x is 15 now the value of a is 3 now we'll see how many post increment or decrement are there so there is one post increment hence the value increased by 1 so it becomes 4 again there is a one post decrement so we'll do minus 1 so the value of a becomes 3 hence the final value of a is 3 only okay so it's very easy if you consider if you consider the question like this now uh, let me solve Okay, let me solve a question for you so I'll take studies question only okay so int a equals to 2 b equals to 3 and c okay so a equals to b plus 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 b plus a uh, c equals to a greater than b and a b okay b equals to a plus 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 b minus minus plus a and c equals to c plus 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 b minus minus no it's in 2 okay not plus fine so you need if you if this type of questions come so you need to solve this question very patiently okay because a single mistake whole program will be uh, like it will be uh, very hard to solve this question if it is a single mistake okay so you'll not get the answer so very patiently you need to solve this question so study i uh, suggested you to make a memory chart okay so that the numbers doesn't get mixed up okay so let us prepare a memory chart like study only a b c so the value of a is 2 b is 3 and c is 0 initially so first case okay now according to the rule we'll see how many pre increment are there okay so we can see here there is only one pre increment plus plus b so we will increase the value of b by 1 so it becomes 4 now we assign the value 4 plus 4 and what is the value of a it is 2 okay hence the value becomes 10 so the updated value of a is 10 now we see how many post increment are there so there is one post increment that 2 for b so we will increase the value of b by 1 hence the updated value becomes 10 sorry 5 so the updated value is 10 5 and 0 going to second case a the value of a is 10 so 10 is greater than 5 then if 10 is greater than 5 then the value of c becomes 10 else the value of a becomes c becomes 5 okay so we can see 10 is greater than 5 okay hence the value of c becomes 10 
so the value of c is 10 now let's go to, go to this case so we'll see any pre operated is there no okay so we're not going to increase any value previously we are going to assign first hence the value of a is 10 value of b is 5 and the value of a is 10 so it becomes 25 fine so the updated value of b becomes 25 now okay and we can see there for post increment and decrement there is a post increment for a so it becomes 11 there is a post decrement for b hence it becomes 24 let's go to third fourth expression so it is there is no there are no pre increment or decrement so we are going to assign the value as it is it is 10 into 24 okay 10 into 24 hence it becomes 240 fine so the updated value of c is 240 okay let's go to the post so in post increment you can see value of c is increased by 1 it becomes 241 value of b is decreased by 1 so it becomes 23 and there is no change in value of a so the updated value are 11 23 and 241 okay fine so i hope uh, i have cleared your query in increment and decrement fine so all the best for exam stay safe and thank you